Islam and greetings, Moors. Welcome back to another episode of Partner Interjection. I am your host, Supreme L. Today is Friday, March 13th, 2015. It's always a pleasure to have your ear. Because I know you could be anywhere listening and watching anything else, yet you chose to listen and watch with me in this glorious, glorious surround sound movie called Life. Here on Pardon the Interjection, we dig up and divulge information and disseminate to our people to help uplift fallen humanity. Today's topic is, you are absolutely correct. There are only a handful of people who understand national principles. And we go on and read. A nation or the sovereign who represents it may grant to a stranger the quality of a citizen by admitting him into the body of the political society. This is called naturalization. Vettel, Laws of National, BK 1, CHXIX 212-214. The only reason any fellow Moor would suggest that another Moor be naturalized is because they are working to put them back into slavery or to control them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Yes, it is true that only a small percentage of people know the national side of the divine and national principles. However, the two cannot be separated because if you don't know the divine of it, you cannot even fathom the national. You were warned by the prophet, peace and blessing to be upon him, part of the interjection, of whom you say you love, admire, and respect his life works as it pertains to the national principles of which principles do not change. One of his warnings or affirmations was that there is no need pardon the interjection, I want to say that again, there is no need for the 14th Amendment for the salvation of the people. He was telling you then, it does not apply to you. And it still does not. Thus, gave a fair and lawful warning to beware of it, or rather, to be aware of it. There are other reasons in his wisdom and in the half that have not been told as to why he said the 14th Amendment was not necessary such as it was never lawfully ratified it is, in fact, unconstitutional. 
and it was never meant for anyone but corporations in the first place. The birth certificate is a de facto corporate artifice, an instrument that proves human trafficking. It holds no weight in law either as it is void on its face or void ab initio or ab initio. Another law term to look up. If anything is void by inception or unconstitutional, it confers no rights in law. An unconstitutional act is not law. It confirms or confers no rights. It imposes no duties, affords no protection. It creates no office. It is in legal contemplation as inoperative as though it had never been passed. Norton versus Selby County, 118 U.S. 425. He also said no one can change the deceit nature of another and gave the remedy then to our lack of knowledge pertaining to these matters and that remedy is the same remedy now which is to declare your nationality he did not say to naturalize into the United States of America of which you cannot be a citizen of the United States of America as is in accord with and says so in the 13th Amendment and its hidden 20 sections. That is how the 13th Amendment is applied as for or as far as a more a Moorish American national are concerned. Therefore, whether they subverted or and denied the Republic of, you still enforce the National Constitution. Why then would one talk about the 13th Amendment and not acknowledge that and then tell people they have to naturalize into being a citizen of the United States of America. Hmm. Are they aware that Europeans are exasperating or expatriating from the USA in droves by the thousands However, Moors cannot expatriate from that which they lawfully can never be a citizen of. Do you think the Prophet Noble Jew Ali didn't know what you would be faced with today, a hundred years later? Oh yeah. Oh ye, oh ye, oh ye, a little faith. In the prophet, you say you love, admire, and respect. The real problem is lack of study, therefore, lack of comprehension of the subject matter. Contradiction. We can't on one hand say we are not under the constitutional fold of a constitution that supposedly has an amendment, the 14th, that makes slaves bearing no rights, no jurisdiction to speak, purpose of an attorney, 
in parentheses, no self-determination, being corporate citizens, slaves, property, and subjects. And then, on the other hand, say we need to return to that same constitution as naturalized citizens of it in order to be in the constitutional fold of it. The very same constitution that we are not under in the first place. That is a contradiction if there ever was a contradiction. We are more American nationals and were never citizens of the United States of America and we are not subject to inferior citizenship rankings of same because if not for the nationals there would be no need for citizenship rankings in the first place. The 14th Amendment is not a part of the organic American Constitution. Neither is the 16th Amendment. Again, study would have afforded us to know that by now. The prophet said to study, study, study. And when you have studied well and asked what to study next, he would reply, <laughs> study yourselves, <laughs> Islam. And studying yourself, you would know yourself, as that is one of the ways the Moors were uplifted. By teaching them to be themselves knowing the heritage and history of your own foremothers and fathers assist you in going back to the mindset of your foremothers and forefathers in knowledge that is why schools were and are necessary instead of continuing to perish for a lack of knowledge which is the mental slavery that the prophet came to bring us out of and while no one can change the descent nature of another first we need to know that descent nature and the history of the Constitution we are supposed to be enforcing enforcing it and knowing it we know who we are we're going to pause right there and we're going to continue this say thank you for listening until the next show I want to say don't believe me go check it out for yourself and you'll be amazed at what the treasures you'll find on your hunt Supreme L. All love leads to all. Islam, love and peace forevermore.